Good morning children. Today we shall learn about international system of numeration or we can say international numeral system. Look here, this is a boy who says my father bought this house for 6 million rupees. So what is 1 million? Let us see. When we count in terms of ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, billions, etc., then we are talking about international numeral system. So, let us see international numeral system in more details. Let's do the counting in multiples of 10. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. Then what is this number? It is equal to 100,000. And what is this number? We can say it is equal to 1000,000. So there are thousand thousands. And what is it called? It is called 1 million in international numeral system. So what is 1 million? 1 million means thousand thousands. And we write it as 1 followed by 6 zeros. Now, can you tell what is 10 million equal to? It is 1 million multiplied by 10, which becomes equal to 1 followed by 7 zeros. Next, what is 100 million equal to? It is simple. 1 million multiplied by 100. So we get number as this. And how many zeros are here? 3, 3, 6, 7, 8. So 100 million means 1 followed by 8 zeros. Confused? Let us put the place value chart according to international numeral system. So we always start from the smallest digit value place which is ones. So ones followed by tens, then hundreds, then thousands, then ten thousands, followed by hundred thousands. And what comes after hundred thousands? millions place value then 10 millions place and then 100 millions place so this is the place value chart according to international numeral system now what is this number equal to we start counting one stands hundred thousands ten thousand hundred thousands millions so this number is equal to one million and if we see in one million there are seven digits one two three four five six seven so there are seven digits and what all we can say it has one followed by six zeros so now you know what is 1 million. Now here is a huge number. Can we read it according to international numeral system? Let us try to do it. We will place this number under the place value chart according to the international numeral system. So we are placing this huge number and now we can read it. There are five ones, six tens, seven hundreds, five thousands, 
zero ten thousands, four hundred thousands, two millions, eight ten millions, and three hundred millions. And how do we read it? We read all the millions together first, then the thousands, and then hundred, followed by tens and ones. So the number becomes three hundred and eighty-two million. How many thousands? Four hundred and five thousand seven hundred and sixty-five. Confusing. Always remember. We read the millions together in case there are millions. Then we read the thousands together, meaning thousand, ten thousand, and hundred thousand places together. Then we go for reading hundreds, tens, and ones. So this way, we can read this number easily. So we have three hundred eighty-two million four hundred five thousand. Seven hundred and sixty-five. So we have difficulty in reading large numbers. What is the solution? In international system of numeration, we can put commas, and commas are used to mark thousands, millions, and billions. So it is easy to read and. Write the numbers in figures. Let us see. Where does the first comma come? The ones, tens, and hundreds form unit spirit, and then comes the comma. So the first comma marks thousands. Like here, we have five thousands. Next, where does the second comma come? As we are seeing, the first com comma is after hundreds place and marks the thousands. The second period consists of thousands, so we have thousands place, ten thousands place, and hundred thousands place. All these three places to the left of hundred place forms the thousands period. And the second comma is after this, so it marks the millions. Here we have one million and eight hundred forty-five thousand and seven hundred and eighty. So remember, the second comma marks the millions. Lastly, coming to the Third comma, as we are seeing, the first comma marks the thousands, and the second comma marks the millions. And what about the third comma? Well, if we see, the next three digits form the millions period, and after the millions period, we put a comma. So the third comma marks. Billion. Here we have two billions. If we read the large number, we will know there are two billion one hundred fifty-two million three hundred eighteen thousand and fifty. So, what is one billion equal to? We know it is equal to thousand millions, so it becomes equal to this number, which is one followed by nine zeros. That's a huge number, isn't it? Now let us read this large number. The commas are already placed, so it becomes very easy to read the number. This is unit spirit. Then a comma, followed by thousand spirit, then a comma, then million spirit, followed by a comma, cut, followed by a comma. So it becomes very easy to read the number. It becomes one billion six hundred fifty-two million three hundred fifty-two thousand 
54,000 and 500. So, with introduction of commas, it becomes very easy to read large numbers. And also it is very easy to put commas in international numeral system because each period has three digits starting from the rightmost the first three digits forms the unit spirit next three digit thousand spirit then next three is million spirit so now you know what is international numeral system that's all for now bye bye children